Hey guys, uh, alright, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do quick charts in Excel. Uh, I'm going to fire up Excel. I'm going to be using Excel 2013, however, uh, not much big of a difference from Excel 2010. So I have here uh, Excel and I want to chart something out. Uh, let's go and chart out some data. I'm going to do everything from scratch. So I'm going to give myself a column called Days and a column called Sales. So, here, yeah, let me go in here and format this, and uh, here, let me give it a heading. Okay, so days we're going to do Sunday through Saturday. And in sales, I'm going to say, all right, suppose I'm selling something. On Sunday, let's say I sold six pieces. On Monday, I sold two pieces. On Tuesday, I sold nine pieces. On Wednesday, I sold two pieces again. Thursday, I sold six pieces. Uh, Friday, I sold, let's go with four pieces. And Saturday, I sold one piece. And now I have here uh, two columns of data. I have days, which I worked. And I have the sales, which I made throughout those days. And I want to get this stuff in a nice chart in Excel. I want it to look good, visually uh, presentable. So how do I go about doing something like that? Well, um, you'll see here that in Excel 2013, I can just go to Insert and then click on uh, Chart, any chart. And Excel 2010 is very similar. You go to Insert, you go to Charts, and you pick a chart and you insert it. In this case, I'm going to insert a two-dimensional chart. So once you insert the chart, you're going to see a blank white box. And you might wonder to yourself, all right, so how do I get this data in there? Very, very, very simple. I'm going to right-click on the chart and I'm going to select the Select Data option, or you can press uh, E. So Right-click in E or click on Select Data. So the very first thing we want to do is we want to fill in the Y-axis, uh, and that will be our series. And our series is going to actually be Sales. So I'm going to click on Add, and I'm going to call this Series Sales. And I'm going to click on the Series Values button to select my range. In this case, it's going to be all of my sales. And I'm going to click the little Insert button. So immediately I have my sales in here. I have the number of cells which I did. But what I don't have is the labels on the bottom. You see, it still says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It doesn't really say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, tu um, you know, Thursday, Friday, etc. So now what I'm going to do is write in the select data source for the chart where it says horizontal category, um, access labels. I'm going to click on edit. And I'm going to go on and highlight the range of labels that I'm uh, require, requiring for this particular chart, which are the days, and I want to click on OK, and OK again. So now I actually have a very, very nice chart, a very nice and, and uh, good-looking chart. You can see here that on Sunday I had six sales, uh, Monday I had uh, two sales, on Tuesday I had nine sales, and you could tell all that by looking at this chart. So that's the easy way of making a chart, very, very simple way. Now this chart is not really complete because we can do so much more with it. Uh, in Excel, when we highlight uh, a chart, we have the design and format tabs on the ribbon. So we can move further to format this chart, um, you know, and add a fill to it and more visual styles, but I'm more interested in values. So I'm going to click on Add Chart Element. And when I click on Add Chart Element, I'm given the options here to add multiple things. Um, and I'll show you right now some of the previews. Uh, let's go over to Legend. And say I want to add the legend to the right. So on the right of my chart now, I have a blue box that says, OK, blue means sales. Uh, suppose I want to add the number of all of my sales on top of the bar, so I don't have to look. Um, here, actually, let me go and do this now with Legend Keys. Perfect. I just All I did now is I added a legend key to the bottom of my chart showing that Sunday I had six sales, Monday I had two sales, without having to visually look at the actual um, Y and X axis in order to tell how many I've had. I have this data right here uh, on the bottom. And all I did was just play with the add uh, elements to the chart. When I click on design and add chart element, I have the ability here to add uh, the data table. You see in this case I have here none, then I added with legend keys. So you'll see in sales I have 6292641. Um, I can add data labels to the center. Uh, the data labels are just counts. So instead of just having my counts of the data on the very bottom, I can have it probably inside of my chart. I can have it on top of my chart, outside the end of the chart here, very similar to what I was showing you. Uh, you'll see here Saturday I had one, so you have one on top. Uh, Thursday I had six, so now you have six on the very top. And that's how you create the chart. So how did I go about doing this? Let me delete this chart altogether now and show you again. So here is my my data. All I want to do is I want to map out the um, sale amounts 
for the days that I created those sales. And what I'm going to do again, I'm going to click on insert. I'm going to click on chart. I'm going to add a two-dimensional chart. I'm going to right-click that chart. And I'm going to click on select source, select data, select source, select data. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add a series. Series is going to be the data I'm trying to map out. So the series name is going to be sales because that's what I'm mapping. I'm mapping sales. On the y-axis, I want to see sales. I want to see columns going from left to right showing me the amounts of sales that I've done. I'm going to click on the selection button and I'm going to highlight my sale amounts and I'm going to insert them into the chart. That is it. Now I have my chart with the sale data in there. Now I want to add labels uh, for the days of which I made those sales. I want to add horizontal category labels that correspond with the actual number of sales that I made on that particular day. So I'm going to click on the edit button. I'm going to click on the selection tool. I'm going to highlight the days and I want to click on OK. And what just happened is my chart now became populated with the days and with my sale data, similar to what I had before. Uh, now I want to add um, the chart element to it. I'm going to go in here and add data labels and I want to add them outside on the end of each bar. So now it's very easy to see that on Tuesday I got nine sales. Very, very, very simple way to chart. So that's really what I wanted to demonstrate in this video, the ease of creating charts. I mean, it's, it's very, very simple. You just got to know how to create the y-axis and the x-axis here. Um, on the y-axis, you'll always have a numerical value, which can always be changed also. You can edit this particular series as well. But the most common use for charts is doing something like this when you have multiple rows of data. Now, suppose I add something in here like um, sales team, right? I add sales team, and I'm going to add here sales team 1. Sales team 2, sales team 1, 1, 2, 1, and 2. Now I can go in and add an additional uh, data range for this chart. I can go and add another series called sales team. And I'm going to move forward here and I'm going to highlight my cells. And I'm going to add sales teams to this chart. Now I'm able to see which sales team took that particular amount of sales. So I'm able to see that Sunday, sales team number one performed and created six sales, while sales team two on Monday took two sales. Then sales team one again took nine sales on Tuesday. There's multiple ways to play with charts. Uh, I just wanted to create a quick video, quick overview on how to format it in under five minutes. And you could do this with as much data as you want. I mean, if this data continued forever, uh, we could actually make this chart look forever. But the more data you have in a chart, the more cluttered it looks. So it's nice to break it down and create small little um, mini demo presentations for yourself and things of that nature. And that's my video on charting in Excel. So if you've never known how to create a chart, now at least you have a head start. You know how to play with it. And the settings for the chart especially. Remember in the ribbon, the design elements, really, really cool stuff, especially in 2013. They give you all this really, really powerful uh, abilities. You can add grids. You can remove grids. Um, we could show the error bars in here. We can show chart titles, axis title, different axis, primary horizontal axis we have in here. We're not going to hide them. Uh, we can also format the way this whole thing looks and make it look really, really, really spiffy. We can add shadows and all kinds of three-dimensional effects. Oh, this one's pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah. So, that's really what I wanted to point out to you guys here. Let me delete the sales team, for example. Okay, and we're just left with this one, which I can remove. Okay, so here I have a very digital looking chart over here of my sales. Um, and this can apply for anything. You can put people's names in here uh, and do report by names, chart by names, sales by names. Very, very useful uh, when you're creating like public boards. If you were to display something in the office uh, or for yourself, just you have to present to somebody about, you know, uh, the growth of something or the decline of something. Uh, well, thank you very much for watching my video. I appreciate it.